real adventurer, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, where last time we finally got out of the tomb and we're not in a super great shape. Everyone is diseased and everything, but we did level up with the party, so let us uh, make use of that and do some leveling. So we're still, yeah, we're still planning to just go through uh, Cleric. I have to remind myself... For a while, what I still need to get. Uh, let's open up that prestige class again that we want to work towards. The Heart Warden. Where is that? Over here. Hmm. So we have dodge, we have nobility. We just need spell focus enchantment. Uh, we have three needs in bluff and six in diplomacy. We have six, but we still need one in bluff, I think. And then three levels in the spell casting class. So that is fine. We are working towards that fast enough. So let us continue on down the path of the cleric. Oh, we already have three points in bluff. Might as well make it... Uh, we want to keep diplomacy high. That much. Spellcraft high. Yeah, okay. I guess we saved the one point. And... Not much happens, but I do think if we look at our spell book, yeah, we now have level 3 spells. And that, in this situation, is actually quite important because amongst level 3 spells is remove disease. Which, yes, we're going to level, level up a bunch of, or remember a bunch of those as well. We're going to need help? them. Uh, let's level the rest of the group up as well. Nishka, just neutral. I'd expected her to be some kind of chaotic uh, alignment, but just neutral. Okay. So definitely disable device. That's a very important one. Listen, do we want... Yeah, we want to listen. So I rarely use sneak on NPC, so I don't think we'll be putting much points into those. Just the mostly the spotting of trap skills is... Uh, Quite important. And then we can put the rest in, indeed, craft weapon. Oh, we can't go any higher. Well, I guess we'll put a point into... As I said, not to care about sneaking. Use magic device. Yes, that's fine. Yes. And now Kelgar should get another fighter feet or something. Oh, wait, wait, don't put any points into craft weapon. Because we have Nishka to learn that. Okay, so heavy armor optimization. Uh, well, we're going to lessen the armor check penalty by one. Uh, let's see, uh, by one, this is done with movements. I mean, he doesn't really use those skills. And a plus one to dodge AC bonus. That is last one is kind of nice. Uh, what else do we got? So we could go with improved unarmed strike. But I'm thinking like do we really want him to go with the whole you know. I think we'll keep him somewhat flexible as a fighter for now and not specialize him just uh, that much yet. I'm guessing without the heavy armor, uh, armor uh, optimization is nice. Hmm. On the flip side, yeah, maybe we should start focusing in a weapon. Of some kind. Uh, I definitely think we should go with sword and shield style for him. So we have the Dwarven War Axe. Very good. And he was already equipped with one. Yeah, I don't see a reason why. Let's focus on the Dwarven War Axe. Oh, and he gets another feat. Uh, making this tricky. Suppose we could just go with specialization for it immediately. That's not a terrible idea. Otherwise, what's out there? Yeah, the armor optimization. 
You know what, I'll leave that since we don't have a heavy armor frame yet. And just, yeah, let's go with specialty. And that does mean I kind of lock him into using his scarred axe, but uh, oh well. We do get weapon crafting, so hopefully we can craft some good weapons. Yes. Now then, um... Uh, Shall we head on uh, to the fort? I think we should. Let's not rest in the creepy graveyard. Uh, it instantly uh, loads back to the fort. Commander, it's good to see you alive and well. I am sure you have to have a report ready once you return to the fort. That I will, Lieutenant. We have much to discuss. Assemble the officers. I'll be with them shortly. You'll be reporting directly to me. I shall brief the officers and I'm relieving you of duty. What has gotten into you? I've given you your orders, now carry them out! I am your com I am the commander of Fort Lock now, Tan. You will brief me, then return to your quarters. I will have you or I will have you arrested for insubordination. Wow, this is a uh, very ballsy coup he's trying to do here. Problem is we are not, I had not prepared for a fight right here. So we'll see if this goes well. Tan is under my, is under my protection. I didn't rescue him so you could hurt him more. I am not about to part watch, uh, about, about to watch this garrison fall apart again because of you, Tan. The loss of three patrols was a direct result of your failure to prepare the men properly. You are unfit for command. The men were as prepared as they could possibly be, Lieutenant. If you have issue, you can bring it up with, uh, you can bring it up with my superiors. This is not the way to handle it. I've heard enough. Men, arrest him. If he resists, use any force necessary to subdue him. Ah, so we can do a diplomacy here, which we'll definitely think we'll do. I think the soldiers know who your commander is, don't you, men? Oh, they know. Wow, I'm surprised we failed there. So I just crave discipline. Did I actually make a roll? I guess not. Crave discipline. That's what I give them. You can take a lesson, Tan. I'm not letting you take me anywhere, fellas. What you're doing is treason! Indeed, I think you have been more than patient with you. Men, kill them! Okay. I don't have any spells, so this is not gonna be uh, as easy as I... Oh. Okay, maybe this is gonna be quite easy. Okay, Valus is doing a decent Ah! I better get back to the fort! And quickly, God only knows what Valus has done here! Done to the place! I'll meet you there! Well, let's uh, loot his body, so we get chainmail plus one! I mean, it's better than, uh, I suppose we'll give that to... Uh, a yes. little dwarven friend here. I mean, it's better than the normal chainmail he's wearing. But I am thinking I we will yes. start maybe crafting like a cool plate mail if we can. Though we can't, we don't have the adamantine yet to make like an adamantine plate mail. That would be badass. See what are our stats like? We have like I don't know. We'll see. Uh, once we arrive in the fortress, we'll do the curing of our diseases, and then we should be hopefully good. Ah, and he is diseased as well. That's not good. We might need to do something about the command as well. I've already spoken with Marshal Cormac. The patrols to West Harbor will resume right away. I can't believe Valus allowed security to deteriorate like this. I've spoken with our smith, Jacoby. He's been given orders to make whatever spare equipment uh, we might have laying about available to you. Yeah, he kind of already was telling us. He'll charge you cost for the items. I wish you could uh, 
could afford to just give them to you, but money money counters back in Neverwinter uh, count counters back in Neverwinter would have uh, my hat for this. Oh, money counters. Ah, people who count money makes sense. Okay. So with that all out of the way, is there anything I can help you with? No, apparently not. Farewell. So first, we are definitely uh, actually let's speak with Marshall Cormac. Commander Tan is back. Thalos is taken care of. I think he kind of has maybe a bit of country surface. It looks like patrols will be starting again soon. Not bad. Not bad at all. I, well, hmm. I'm just glad I could help. You seem to have a knack for solving problems. I could use someone like you. I can reward you properly for this back in the city. Shouldn't be any trouble convincing Captain Briella, Briella that you deserve a little something for helping me out. Stop by the city barracks if you find yourself uh, looking for work in Neverwinter. As for me, I better get moving. I've already spent too much time here. Okay, now we are definitely going to take a rest. And then use our new spells to cure our diseases. Because, yeah, we are not looking great. So... First, I'll sail. And boom! That spell is coming just in time. Almost as if the gods will it so. Oh, I guess, uh, yeah, technically it was alright again. Uh, Calgar, but, uh, you know, it helped with the stat. Now, let's actually talk with Jacoby. Since he says we have stuff available to you. Thanks for getting Commander back to us. We were already, uh, we're already uh, to hang Valus ourselves, just some principle. The smithy work won't uh, be a challenge, but it'll sure be a lot more pleasant around here. What can I do for you? Show me what you have for sale. I don't think he necessarily has anything new. Does he have maybe new adamantite? He does have Mithril. Mithril is rather nice. I think we'll already buy a nugget of Mithril. As it is going to be pretty important for crafting later on. I suppose we could try just making an iron uh, thing. Iron plate mail for, uh, for Calgar. That might be a good idea. Alright, so let's actually... Uh, I suppose we'll have to identify this amulet. Bonus turning! That is... Amulet of Undead turning. That is actually quite handy for us to have, so yeah, let's put that on. Um, if the warning thing, Falcon. Now let's sell some non-magical stuff like this. Katana plus one? Hmm. I mean, do you think anyone's going to use a katana? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm going to sell this one. A crookery is possibly a little bit more likely, so I am saving that one. We might eventually give that to Nishka. Uh, so, that's junk. Long bow and a short bow. Yeah, I don't think it's worth hanging on to those. Copper necklace, not much use. So as I said, these can, can become important in enchanting, so I am hanging on to those. Gloves of concentration, great axe, we can sell that. Diamonds definitely hang on to those. Oh, we have, yeah, this light hammer. What is this then? The storm plus one. I am thinking, what type of weapon is this? Marshall. Okay. Everybody, I thought me. small hammers were always simple. Yes. But I guess that means Nishka can't yes. use it? No. Okay. Get in line. I think follow we'll hold me. on to this one. Is that... 
might be uh, useful. I mean, we're currently the Astral Blade is better, so we're hanging on to that. But Ring of Resistance, yeah, why not wear that? Okay, what's this then? A helmet. Headband of intellect. Hang on to that, that is going to be useful for uh, whenever we get uh, like a wizard. I don't think bloodstone is useful, I don't think adventuring is much use. Fire opal I think does have a use, so I'm saving that. Garnet does have no use and blue spot definitely doesn't have a use. Um, this is probably good to sell. Club plus one will save that. I'm actually tempted to maybe give her to Nishka as a backup weapon, uh, now that I think on it. Oh well, definitely saving it. I think we've done enough shopping for now. So, yeah, maybe, um... Ah oh, well, let's actually, uh, we'll save the molds up for the full uh, plate mail thing. We'll save that for when, uh, you know, we actually, uh, let's rest. For when we actually have like a special material to make an awesome armor out of. And we need, honestly need Calgar to train a lot more on this stuff, so. So then we are with Fort Locke, and now I guess uh, we have no other place to go than the town of Highcliff. Head on towards Neverwinter. You've encountered something on your way to your destination. Oh no, it's more of these guys. No place to run this town, Kalakcha. Not what you have stolen. Hand it over, and we will let you live. This is getting tiresome. What's so important about that blasted thing that has them chasing us all over Farron? We don't even know what the blasted thing is. Oh wait, the shot, yeah. I wish I knew the answer. Ah, take your time. At least the fights come to us. Hang the shard over now, or we will take it from your corpse. No, and we were just getting to know each other. I mean, spiky bit makes it a bit hard, but you know I can work around that. Fool. I shall enjoy killing you. Well, at least you enjoy your work. Uh, but also there's an elven woman right behind you. Oh. Good, that's actually good tactics there, Nishka. Go for the wizards. Okay, you guys are handling the wizard, right? Yeah, okay. I will go kill these guys who are sleeping. Oh, too late. No, just in time. Ha! Ah. I just have to. Uh... Wow, dodgy. Wow, skilled. Come on, hit him. Did he just get killed a by a badger? For a harborman. Apparently, I'm not the only one who has a problem with it. Forgive me, but I saw these things about to attack you. I found I could not simply stand by while you were ambushed. Again. I'd like to help if I could. I've been trying to follow you without interfering, but I don't think you'll reach your destination without someone who knows the land. Meet a very boring elven woman. She is very boring and a druid. Uh, who are you exactly? Yeah, maybe you'd better tell us who you are. And there's others of us here too. If you can take your eyes off our leader long enough to notice, I am Ellen. Okay. And rather than shadow you, 
I would walk with you. We're doing fine, thanks. And maybe you'd like to explain why you were following us in the first place. Well, I guess know that as well. I can leave the Inquisition to, to my friends. To themselves and don't pay much mind to travelers who take the roads. I think you will find tree worshippers a rare thing these days, dwarf. So do not use that word lightly. Apparently not rare enough to have you come out of nowhere after following us, for hell's knows why. Hmm. So we're not going to tell a tree worshipper you are a druid then? Yes, I am one of the tree worshippers of the mayor. Just as you have the smell of a harbourman upon you, I've watched you stumble through thick and bramble, miss paths right in front of your eyes, and let those beasts catch you what feels to be a dozen times over. Before casting insults, well, I have a very attractive personality. I help you, harbourman. Did you think of that? Why is she so uh, snappy with us? Maybe she knows that I said she was boring. Oh god, she's uh, transcended the fourth wall and now is taking offense to me, the player. Look, I meant no offense. Then maybe I should do the talking. Very well. Perhaps I spoke too quickly. And with enemies like the ones who pursue you, we waste time with useless words. Hmm. How long have you been tracking us then? It's a strange circle of who follows who on this road. At first, I was following those who attacked you. But they seem to be following you. Which leads me to believe there's something you have. Something they want, so I thought that perhaps my enemies' enemies would at least welcome some company to their destination. And with my help, even get there faster. I think we've been doing fine on the road so far. Well, I come bearing a gift, not just words. I know of a quicker path to Highcliff, and one that will hide your trail as well. There is a druid sanctuary not far from here. The Maiden's Glade, where members of my circle would go for refuge when traveling the land. I can lead you there, and with no further attacks from these hunters of yours. Not that you can't handle yourself, but I'm sure you're growing as tired of these attacks as I am. Hmm. So you want to help me? Actually, let's start with why were you following them? I only recently became aware of them. First, in the Merdelaine, the wetlands you harbormen call the Mare of Dead Men. I believe they are responsible for many attacks in the Mare and beyond. Not all their victims escaped as you did. And so I followed them to learn of their intentions, and if possible, to stop them. So what do you know of uh, the people you're following, then? Little. They are not of the land. That is for certain. They have a strange smell about them. And their speech is like nothing I've heard before. Unless they are speaking to their thralls, it is impossible to make out. But they keep calling you Kalak Cha. Do you know what that means? That would be my question to you, actually. And it looks like when it comes to answers, we have little to offer one another. A pity. So, you want to help me, then? There is something these hunters want from you, and they seem determined to stop you from reaching your destination. So I feel it is my duty to balance things out. Besides, they outnumber you. It's not fair. Well, out numbers do not mean everything. It's uh, not just bodies uh, that you need, it's how you use the bodies. So, we will welcome your company. Very well. That wasn't so hard to admit now, was it? What? Don't get snappy. We're taking her along? Why? Is there some sort of problem? I'll say. You're still talking, and you're acting like you're coming with us. That's the problem. So I think, don't think the second one will be uh, Denzin style. If she meant us harm, Nishka, she wouldn't have bothered helping us or even talking to us, really. Well, I'm going to keep my eye on her. And you, it looks like. Forget I said anything. Fine. Let's be off. Judging by the sun and trail, you were headed to Neverwinter, correct? Well, technically to Highcliff, uh, and then with the boat but Neverwinter, but, uh, yes. 
I am off to visit some uh, relatives. Indeed. The more distant relatives they are, the better in my experience. Let's wow, antisocial much, are you? The Maiden's Glade is not far. This is a long way from the road. Are you sure you know where you're going? Agreed. How much farther is this place? Not far, for we are already here. All this right. is Eridus, the Maiden's Glade, in the Tongue of Harbormen. Oh, we have a lore option here. Hmm. Sounds elvish. Almost Ilfard, in fact. You are correct. You surprise me. Just as the Mayor of Dead Men was once Meridelaine, the slow marching cord, this place also had a name long before settlers from Neverwinter set foot here. Did they ever set foot here? I can barely see where we're going. Trust me, it's no better at my height either. Sure as the hells couldn't find my way back to the road now. The road okay. to the Maiden's Glade is hidden. That's fine. Known only to druids and the beasts of the land. You cannot revisit this place without me to guide you. The glade up ahead was a retreat for druids, a place of shelter if they needed to heal or rest. Many such places exist along the coast. The animals here would protect the druids. Oh, they how would nice. shield you from your pursuers if they should find you. Uh, you mean those animals? Woofs! I think we've had enough of this one. Oh, I love dogs, uh... Okay, so they are bad dogs. The animals here are frightened, and I know not why. There is usually at least one druid in the glade, and they should be aware of the beasts and us. Well, I say we avoid any wolves or anything trying to kill us. I say we fight them. They attack us, we attack them. Besides, <laughs> could use new boots. Kalgar, I knew you'd love some new boots, but do you know how to make boots out of uh, out of animals? You don't seem like a tanner to me. Nor we do we have time to do any tanning or such. So, I would would like to prefer to get through this without a lot of bloodshed. I would prefer that. Yes. So let's actually see. Looking back, because uh, yes, there's a few. Things where influence is important. So we got some influence here, because we know about stuff. We trust her. Nishka lost a bit of influence. That's uh, how much the party does like us. Uh, influence here. Influence lost here. Yeah, Nishka gets uh, snappy when it comes to uh, dealing with LNA. Well, I think we'll uh, go into the Druid Grove for the next episode. So, I'll uh, equip my party and then get back to you. So, till then.